What's up everybody, today we're going to be taking some pictures of these TCC playing cards. So these are the T-Sword playing cards by TCC and the trailer for these promotional cards were done by Shin Lim. They've got air cushioning and they're printed by the USPCC. They come in the two colours, the black and the wine red, I've got the black colour. They've also created a gaff deck but today we're going to be taking pictures of the black T-Sword deck. First things first, got to open them up. So it's just a, a quite plain deck, but made in the USA on the back. The usual stuff on there, TCC Playing Card Company. And on the front you've got the black T. That's inside you've got your Joker. Two different Jokers, one's a big T, one's a little T. That's all your playing cards. We've also got a blank Ace. And obviously your regular S there, and also a duplicate Queen of Hearts. See there on the S, you've got the lovely TCC playing cards logo. Let's get set up and get some pictures taken with them. And obviously there's the back, which is your double T. Thoughts are because these are sort of quite luxury looking cards. We're going to go for the same with that. So a luxury look with the cards. We'll see how it goes. So this is what I'm going to be shooting on today, just a flat surface, and obviously with the elegant look, I thought I'd go for a suit jacket. Something that some of you with the pockets, you have the cards in the pocket, or the deck in the pocket, or something like that. So we'll go from there. So as you can see here, we've got the jacket all set up, just going to put the cards back in the deck. So as you can see here, you've got the jacket all lined up, and I'm just going to take the cards, put them back in the pocket. And for the first shot, what I'm going to do is just have the, the cards peeking out the jacket like that. So you can see this just sort of coming out. Uh, we've got that set up. I'm just going to grab the other camera, set up some lights, and we'll get cracking. So before we start shooting, just go through the little setup. So for the shoot, I've gone with a nice, simple, straightforward setup. So I've got the lights down with the boom arm, and on the top of there, I've got the Godox AD200 and also a beauty dish. With the beauty dish, it puts a direct light on the subject so you can tell it exactly where the lights to fall. So with using this setup, I'm just gonna have the light from above, lighten it all up, and that's it. So I'll turn off the video light, just so I can have full control of the light and everything, and get cracking. So this is all set up to go. So I've got the camera here, all set up, ready to go. Shut speed is 160, F56, and ISO 400. The light itself, I've got on 1 16th power. I'll just head in and I'll take a quick test shot. So we can just sort of go from here and take a couple of shots. So I've got one in the box and I'm just going to change it up a bit. So I'll get the cards out, leave the box there. And what I noticed is that duplicate Queen of Hearts has a heart on the back of it. So I thought that'd be quite good to show it as one of the cards. So I'm put that in there. So what I can do there is just find the deck out a bit. Just hide some of the jokers. So there, and then there's the box. You might switch that around like that. Have the box there. I'll close the box up. 
stop that. So now I just tend to do some uh, some detail shots picking up things. So see your heart on your card there. I can pick that out and focus directly on that. And get on with the jokers. So I've just been through a couple of shots and taken some pictures with the jacket and with the tie and stuff like that. There's there's a few okay pictures, but I'm not overly happy with them. I think generally for stuff like that, I do prefer the much larger space like in the studio so I can set up a couple of lights like backlight and that sort of thing to make a pop a little. But with the, the limited space I've got, I can only do so much. So as you can see here, I've got the beauty set up again and it's just pointing on the deck of cards in the corner there. So I'm just gonna do Something a little bit different and just uh, do some shots along this white table. As you can see, the light is left at the background, which I don't want. So I'll bring that forward a bit just to bring it off the background. Yeah, you can see there, it's just left the background in grey. Just bringing out that, the deck of cards. Okay. And what you can do with this inside there, I'm just putting the lens cap in just to weight the box down a bit. So there's the box. And what I'm going to try and do is just stand these cards up just like that. If I didn't move the camera, of course, what I can always do to cheat is get another deck of cards behind it so you don't get the deck in. Just shoot a bit lower down. Just for one more last shot, I'll just lay them all down. Well, I hope you enjoyed that short video and hopefully going to be doing a lot more of them with all the different decks of cards and hopefully they'll be great, a lot better, especially when I can get back in the studio and have the bigger environment and set up more better sets and that sort of thing. But just for some quick pictures to go on Instagram and things like that, you can just do it at home, just even without flashes, you can just use your iPhone or camera, as long as you've got the window next to it, let in some natural light and that's it sorted. So yeah, these are the T-Swords by TCC playing cards and thanks to PropDog for sending them across. And if you liked the video, give it a subscribe below, leave a comment, give it a like. And next week, I'll hopefully be back shooting another deck of cards in a different sort of environment and giving a different look to them. So until next time, see ya.